Hello YouTube, it's um, T1P Chubbs here, doing an unboxing of the new Asus GTX 580 Direct U2 graphics card from NVIDIA. Um, just got it in the mail today, I've got it from overclockers.net for £450. Let's just show you the box. It's a Direct CU2 edition. She's got 20% better cooling. The voltage tweak to get better overclocking. Two connections there. An SLI ready, 3D vision ready. This is top of the box. It's um 1.5 gig RAM. GDDR5. Just a lot of features on it here. I'll post them in the description. It's just a side. And the front again. Alright, so now. Alright, now we've got this black cardboard box with Asus in on gold. Just open that up. You got the drivers here. Driver and manual speed setup. Pretty simple enough. We're gonna be installing it in this computer here. Just take off this black foam. And here's the card itself, it is really big. SLI bridge here. VGA to DVI connector, a uh, 6 pin Molex to, no sorry, a uh, 8 pin Molex to two 6 pins adapter. And this is the card here, I'll take out the wrapping. Alright, so that's out the wrapping, it is massive, it takes up three expansion slots, just one there, see so there's the copper pipes for the cooling, two fans, it's a really big card. Just a better view of it here, direct CU2 model, just all the connections in the back, really nice design, should keep it pretty cool. There's the power adapters there, two 8 pins, you need to check your power supply and there's the SLI connectors there, it takes two SLI bridges, so I'm going to install it now and I'll do some benchmarks with 3D Marks Vantage. Alright so I just got the new card in, it was really hard to get in because I've got my cable management here and I had to like pull the cables quite far back for it to work. Really big card but that's it and now I've got my old 285 out. This is um, the voltage tweak program. This is it here. Yeah, it shows you the temperatures also the fan speeds and the RAM temperature down here's the overclocking so you can like, overclock the V core and the engine just from here and press this and just click OK to clock it that's it overclocked and you can go back to default settings by clicking that. There's quite a fair amount of settings as well. It's got monitor, falling interval, overheat protection, some other settings you can mess around with. Monitor settings, 
fan control you can set it manually or you can just set it to auto fan control there's hyperdrive that's just information yeah I'll do some benchmarks with 3D Mark Vantage when I get my when I get Windows 7 on do some benchmarks and some gameplay Fallout New Vegas Homefront Crisis 2 do a complete playthroughs yeah thanks for watching Help, man!